When you create something, you want to accept two methods. That's the get method and the post method. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the course view here, paste it over and call it course create view. And we have our get method in here. I'm going to leave it in as empty context. And then we want to have our post method because when you actually create something, you post it to the back end. So we want to make sure that we have post really simple. Um, I don't actually need the ID argument passed through here. We're not using that. Um, and then of course the template itself is going to be course create. Now I want to bring in my form, which is from forms import and the name of it is course model form. And I want to actually initialize this in two places, right? One is the get method. We'll say form equals to the course model form. Make sure that it's empty just like that. And then inside of my context, I'll have the form being passed because my create template has that need. Okay, so we save this. Let's bring it into our URLs and add it in as a path. Okay, really simple stuff so far. Let's go ahead and go into that. And we see a title here. Okay, so if I type some stuff out and hit save, it doesn't seem like anything happens. Well, nothing actually does happen because our view actually accepts post data, but it doesn't do anything with it. So what we have to do is come in here and grab the request.post, whatever that data is. So again, same context, we bring it in here, just like that, okay? So this will allow me to actually have the form data coming through with whatever that context is. So let's go ahead and create something and hit save. Seems like things have happened. Let's go back into my courses. I still don't have anything in there because of course I still need to come in here and say if form dot is valid, then I would just do form.save. And that would give me the actual method to save a model form inside of this view.